All right, hello everyone. Today we're starting Soon Dion's story in Dash Warrior 6. At the end of the second century, the Han Dynasty was approaching the twilight of its existence after 400 years of continuous rule. People who felt unease with the corrupt government launched a large-scale revolt under the self-proclaimed Grand Master Zhang Jiang. In response, the Han Dynasty sent orders out to the provinces to raise an army and oust the villain. Coming forward to assist with the situation, the Tiger of Zhangdong, Sun Jian, joined the coalition, setting forth on a quest to quell the chaos. Alas, the common people are running amok. None of them stand out to me. What they really need is a leader. <laughs> it's a pity, I agree. But I know you're excited to be at war. We of the sword long for the days when we can cross another sword in a battle or a war. Or in a men's shower room. I ask, what are the Sun of Zhangdong? Hungry tigers! And with what do we fight? Our powerful fangs! Right. This is a land at war. Soon we'll... Tear out their hearts. The awkward pause to match the lip flaps. Holy shit, muscle good. <laughs> Fifty dollars. Tigers, show your claws. <laughs> Guess you're waiting for soon, Dion, huh? I do like him in this game. He uh, he has an interesting look to him. I think this is the first game you see him without the helmet. So it could have been like all throughout Dynasty Warriors two to five. He just had this hairstyle. Just couldn't tell because he's wearing a helmet. Uh, I've got two... got multiple good weapons for him, honestly. But I think the standard one's pretty good. Mystic Seal, Rainbow Spirit, Flash, Ice. Though I do like the look of his strength weapon. The skill one is okay. Is that skill one... Sun Quan's weapon in a later game? I feel like that's in Dynasty Warrior 7 or 8. Not positive. And we're starting with Bog Standard Yellow Turban Rebellion. You've done a bajillion times already. It's nice to actually hear Soon Jian in story, though. For causing this rebellion. One force will east, the other west. We will catch the enemy between us. I hereby claim this place in the name of Wu. So Sunjian and Cao Cao have the unique movesets, but since they're just like, you know, basic sword weapons, it's sort of easy to forget what their movesets actually are. These grab attacks. Okay, that's a square grab. Really quick. This triangle one. Just makes an enemy kneel and then cuts him from behind. You're gonna hear that a lot. One guy is referring to his hair when he says that. I do like for like his whole triangle, you'll see his sword like glowing with fire. That's a nice little detail. It probably actually deals fire damage too. I think all of his triangle attacks do that, despite this definitely being an ice weapon. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. Yeah, even his running triangle. Prepare to march. Everybody, show the enemy the strength of the Oh hey, and soon Sei's on the map. He's not normally here. Let's go. Oh, right here. Yeah. I'll crush you. 
His Muso finisher, I remember making fun of a lot. Like, he waves his sword around in front of him, but it looks like he's, like, just trying to fix his hair or something. There were a lot of jokes about Soon Jian's hair when this game first came out. <laughs> there were jokes about a lot of the hair when this game came out. <laughs> Zheng Jiao's definitely got him beat. Romano, gosh, this game is so saturated, my eyes! <laughs> yeah, it really is. You can tell it was an early uh, PS3 era game. A lot of the, like, initial PS3 games are like this. Like, the bloom just cranked up the max. Okay, cool. We've got swift attack for his... For his tone ability. That means I can just get Matt Frimbu. His deadlock finisher is definitely the coolest. I do like how you see him, like, at night his sword when he does his Muso animation. But that's cool. He's full triangle combo. Neat. His whole triangle. Alright, uh, Matt Trimbu, he shoots a shockwave. And you see him, like, his fist shake as he charges it up and stuff. There are a lot of tiny details I like in Dynasty Warrior 6. But again, it's a shame it has the whole Renbu system, which is kind of terrible. Like how I was winning the duel and he just gave up on it. And the cheat skate didn't even drop me at speed, so there was no reason to duel him. No. All three rulers in the same place. Hello, Omega Surge. going to be a lot of talks of Dong in this stage. Well, in this Muso mode, really. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. I think I've noticed you on stream other times, Romano. It's just I don't necessarily call out everyone all the time. I do look over at the chat quite a bit. I have come for your head. But I also have terrible memory. So maybe I'm thinking of someone else when I think I've seen you in other chats. Okay, that wasn't my horse. Everybody, show the enemy the strength of the Sun family. I absolutely thought he just stole my horse and ran off with it. <laughs> there is no place for you in the new world. This is the game that raised Soon John's popularity. I can kind of see that. He is a lot cooler in this than he is in uh Warriors Archie. Though he was already pretty cool in Dynasty Warriors 4 and 5. 
A lot of it was the voice actor. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. Like now in this game, Soon Jian's voiced by the guy that uh, voiced Tatakatsu in Warriors Archie. Find out where the flames are coming from. And basically the exact same voice. Keep an eye out though, because I won't lose to you. Which just sounds a lot cooler than the uh, the other guy they had. Who now voices the Spearman generics in this game. That voice. That's where is Archie 1 and 2. Soon beyond. He also voiced him in Five Extreme Legends and Empires. But those are easy to forget. I believe that voice actor is George Grant, who I actually really enjoy. I can't think of the name of the guy that voices Soon Jian right now, though. I've heard of him in a bunch of stuff, but like, for the longest time, like, I couldn't figure, ever figure out his name. It, I don't think it's like hardly ever, like, in credits or anything. Like, when Dynasty Warriors 6 at first came out, people were still saying George Grant was voicing Soon Beyond, even though he's definitely not from 6 to 8. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. There's nothing like smashing up enemy bases for fun. One guy just enjoying destruction. Time is finished. You see before you the new age of the yellow turbans. I miss the funny voices the uh, Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao used to have. They sound so standard in this game. And again, they only have like, what, two lines? We must rouse ourselves for this fight. Do not fault. It is merely an illusion. It can come down the past. All the way. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. Looking over at the chat and seeing so much Tiger of Jiang Dong said. Fear the Tiger of Jiang Dong. All right, we have stopped all their so-called magic. Only their leader Zhang Dong. It has consistently been his officer defeat quote from Dance Warriors 5 onward. The officer I left behind back there. Ah, where were you this whole time? Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. His horseback swings are actually pretty fast. I am impressed. You are an inspiration to us. The square string is pretty good. It's got a nice mix of range, speed, and power. It feels very balanced. The Yellow Turban's rebellion has been quelled. You have all fought well. Victory is ours. Tiger of Jung Dong is victorious again. In his victory line, he says it. In the name of Wu. Yeah, that's where your uh, nine has that weird pronunciation for Wu. 
see, what do I want for him? That 300 KO thing is nice. What is that? Increases uh, victory aura, whatever. Such a big stat up. Just, these are too tantalizing. I'm getting these. Use speed of nearby enemies while using your special attack. That sounds pointless. Great increase of damage to enemy soldiers from your swift attack. That sounds great. Done there by enemies while using your special attack. That sounds okay. A swimming speed increase? Uh, no. I'll work towards those buffs to the tome. Luckily, for soon, John doesn't need to fight Liu Biao in this game. <laughs> yeah, fortunately. After the Yellow Turban Rebellion was suppressed, peace did not return to the land. The eunuchs surrounding the Emperor carried on their corrupting ways, and a plot was hatched to eliminate them. Taking advantage of the disorder, Dong Zhuo was able to seize power, and the realm fell further into confusion. Yuan Shao gave an impassioned speech against Dong Zhuo's tyranny, and called for the formation of an army to bring down the tyrant. Sun Jian came forward to be part of this force, with ambition, aspiration, and the governor's expectations serving as a pretext. The tiger slowly sharpened his claws. Going to be extra dong on this stage. Zhou Yu, what do you think of the coalition? Not a great deal at a glance, my lord. Men without honor. Lacking in courage. I'm sure that Dong Zhuo was quaking in his boots right about now. <laughs> I don't trust any of them. Now can you blame me? I have only myself to trust. And the great strength of Zhang Dong. Was that not your intent from the beginning? <laughs> Naturally. Zhou Yu, go and join my boy. He has no subtlety in war. My son is a wild boar. I am sure that's not what my lord means. The part about, say, being a wild boar, of course. I'm off. To aid the son of the tiger as I am bid. The confidence of youth. Ah, to be young again. How's your hair solid white, but your facial hair is brown or black? Yeah, we got Soon Say and Joe Yu on this map. Which means Yan Wei just got removed from existence. As did Joe Yu. Yeah, that cutscene is definitely meant to take place like before Zhou Yu's cutscene. We shall destroy the traitor and his ilk. Forward, it is up to us to restore order to the Han. <laughs> the only got Thanos snapped. Hanway deserves nothing less. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just mentally repla replace every time the word Jong is said with my. See, it's funnier when you do that. Fight on. We must not fall short.
Oh, another way you can tell this is an early PS3 game is that there are no trophies for this. You play the Xbox 360 version, you can get achievements on that game, but just no trophies for this one. Which is disappointing, especially given how many hours I've clocked into this. So imagine there being something sadistic, like a trophy for getting red hair, which is borderline fucking impossible. thing yet. Oh yeah, uh, I can't remember if it was Captain or Aristocrat that said it, but uh, Yuan Chao's officer defeat quote actually changes for Six Empires. Uh, I forget exactly what it changes to, but I think it's so it doesn't reference like him being the leader. Dun Jian's may also change if it references Wu by name. Annoyed Jung Liao didn't get caught in that ambush. Okay, yes for dueling. Wow, you drained the shit out of my rib boo. I am not okay with that. I'm gonna get it back. This is not a fair duel! <laughs> Joshi was just like, no, he's mine. Hello, Lieutenant. <laughs> I didn't... No one knows how to fight fairly. And of course he drops a fucking weapon. Everyone I duel doesn't drop VXP. When they're supposed to drop the maximum amount of VXP when you fight them in a duel. And it's not like it's the same officers every time that always drop, like, weapons or, uh, or EXP. It's completely randomized, so it's just me being unlucky. Okay, it was Captain that said it, and he said the line in the chat. This is the consequence of your defiance. Still does sound very Yuan Chao-ish. I do kind of like the targets for like giving you like visual incentive to go after other things on the map you wouldn't normally do. But sometimes it's just tedious. And it sends you after a watch post that really has no strategical advantage. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. In this stage it sends you after two you don't really have to take. Because of this target right here. We can 
make a difference here. Now charge. I have come for your head. Well, that was anticlimactic. That felt like I stole the kill. Oh, what a wonderful fighter. Everyone, we must not let our morale flag. Yep, that was all skill right there. To be fair, it made sense that it would be something that impresses Liu Bei, because it's essentially what happened with Guan Yu and Hua Shang. At least in the Wu story in Dynasty Warrior 7. <laughs> when, when Guan Yu just drives by and, like, outright steel kills Hua Shang. I claim this base in the name of Wu. Uh, let's see. Someone with a hard pronounced name asking me about Strike Force. Uh, yeah, I brought it up once before. I'm not sure if I want to stream it or not because, yeah, a lot of it is pretty boring, honestly. But it does have some unique, really unique, and interesting stuff. Uh, the PS3 version actually has like some guest appearances from the Ninja Gaiden characters. The 360 version has some guest appearances from Warriors Arch characters. Like me pay playing on the PS3, I can actually get like the Dragon Sword. Which is fun that you can equip that to any Dynasty Warrior 6 characters. Like, I would have never imagined CME wielding the Dragon Sword in my life, but I got to see that happen in that game. Did you really have to activate the arrows? They're so annoying. I can't even swing. And in Strike Force, it is fun to, like, just transform, go Super Saiyan, and fly around. It's just there's not much you can do after that. And it's it's really limited by being a PSP game before, you know, being a, being a PS3 game. It does that, like, small area battlefield thing that a lot of the Dynasty Warriors PSP games did. And the Samurai Warriors one, actually. That was their way to get around the PSP not being able to handle big maps. A Switch version is a guest appearance from Lubu. Yeah, can't confirm. Just stick in your copy of Dynasty Warrior Strike Force for the Switch in. And see it yourself. I have hung for your head. Oh, another thing that's sort of an issue with Strike Force is that a lot of it's kind of grindy. Like, the first three chapters of Strike Force are just all the same missions for every force. All the non-line missions are the same, too. And the final chapter is also the same for every force. Each force only has two unique chapters, if I recall correctly.
some of the like side quest stages are kind of fun. Uh, the DLC ones are a bit of an interesting too. I recall one of the DLC stages has Cao Cao just really wants to kidnap Xiao Xiao. <laughs> like, his voice actor really goes over the top with it and screams about it. It's great. <laughs> Like, that was the most serious I've ever seen Dice Warrior 6 out out get. It wasn't quite, ah, the flames from Dice Warriors 5, but it was getting close. Talking about it has kind of made me want to play it. <laughs> I might do like a one-off stream for it, maybe not do everything, but... Now stop it, face Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. There's a bunch of giant enemy bosses you can fight too, but honestly it's a bit too finicky to really be fun. Soon say gets to live in this timeline. I think he'll keep appearing in the stages following this. New horse, kind of. It's not the uh, Grey Dream or whatever the fuck the last one he used was called. This is one I tried to grind and was hoping would turn into something awesome, and then it just turned into a horse that can jump good. Therefore, I hate it. But it's still technically the best horse I have, so I'm still using it. Break one of the gates already. Ram was trying to murder South South. What is happening? <gasps> Look at that. It's Lupu. immediately save. Will I play the Xiao Yun fanfiction game? I assume you mean God Seekers. Probably not. Because a lot of the gameplay in that is very boring. Literally all they had to- ow. All they had to do was just copy Fire Emblem and they didn't really do that. Yao Chan decided she wanted to be part of the Musou attack. Trade of blows. Now is the time. Through the gate. <laughs> you are good. I shall remember your face. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Not die. I shall withdraw. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Defeated Lu Bu. Well done. Only Dong Zhuo remains. Forward. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Amazing. Oh, it's done. You inspire us all. 
all the multicolored soldiers coming to help. Acknowledge Soon John working for Dong Zhuo until we get to Dynasty Warrior 7. Or working for him at one point. Trying to look cool, but all the peasants running across kind of ruining it. The tiger of Zhang Zhang is victorious again. Yeah, I think I skip that reduces the speed of. Ability. Go straight through this increased damage one. Then probably next stage I can get these three. Father, I found this lying on the ground next to the enemy strategist. Oh. Can it fuck me? Is that not the great seal of the ancient Imperial House? It is said the one holding the seal is destined one day to be seated on the Imperial throne. Foolishness. That's merely an old wives' tale. It's superstition. Do you think the fate of a country depends on who finds a seal? And yet, my lord, if I may speak, although it is superstition, people believe it possesses power, my lord. Yes, I see. It might be useful. Spread the news to all the men. The Imperial Seal is here. It has come into the hands of the Tiger of Zhang Dong. The first time we actually saw the Imperial Seal on screen, wasn't it? Put an end to Dong Zhuo. However, as soon as the battle was over, the governors immediately began to plot against each other, shamelessly competing for the throne. Sun Jian came up with a plan and encouraged rumors that he possessed one of the proofs of Imperium, the Imperial Seal. Sun Jian's plan met with success, and the survivor of Dong Zhuo's army, Lu Bu, moved against him to take the Imperial Seal. Confident that he could secure a victory by hitting Lu Bu first, Sun Jian broke camp and led his men towards Xia Pi. Face to face with the ferocious Lu Bu, the tiger roared into battle. So yeah, this is why Lu Bu lived during the last stage. Sun Jian gets a stage against them. We are now in what-if territory. Anything goes. Oh. I told you it would happen. Xia Pi has fallen. Lu Bu will no doubt come south once he's gathered a sufficient force. <laughs> a simple fellow. It would appear that the Imperial Seal has been useful. Father, I say we should attack. Boldness is what's required. Should we act like old men or show him real power? And abandon our defense? You'd rather go on attack. You are a courageous man, my son. Prepare for battle! We will march to Xia Pi. Lu Bu must pay! Must pay for doing exactly what we expected him to do. Eh, I'll keep using the sword I've been using. I don't think changing the power type will change much for Soon Jian except to make him play worse. The Soon Sei, Soon Kwon, and Zhou Yu do not withdraw. Enemy forces do not enter Soon Jian's main camp. Secure six or more enemy bases in 15 minutes. 
This last, this last one may be sort of difficult because, like, when Lubu does his charge, this is the first thing he goes for. Oh, hey, Xiao Kiao! It's nice they're actually using her. <laughs> Sao Xing is in low morale because he has no one he can shoot the eye out of. There's no Shao doing in this stage. Actor keeps fighting people to fight Lu Bu. As I mentioned earlier, he was the voice of Tadakatsu in Warriors Archie. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. Oh, yeah, I don't think Sunjian is smart enough to use a flood attack, but I don't think that's an option for us. We gotta play the Sage legit. Dong went out like a bitch. Han Dong died to Wei Shu. So I can get Matt for Inbu. I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. I think I see all, saw a pot over here, yeah. Maybe that's one. Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe it's an ointment. Oh, awesome. Didn't actually expect it to be one. And soon Jian's the leader, they never go and conquer them. That's a downside to what is for soon Quan isn't the leader. Please get on the horse. Took over the base, there's no reason for you guys to fight me anymore. No change is chilling. He's on a smoke break, so he wasn't going to stop us from taking the base. Riding a horse down here. The gate to the right is just blocked off, so I can't even enter that way. Oh, they're even stronger than I thought. Uh, you had to spawn in the water, didn't you? You need to protect Soon Sei, Soon Quan, and Zhou Yu. I guess I'll ignore everyone else. Defeat the officers they're currently fighting. Alright, 
right, you guys open the base. The gate. They actually weren't struggling with much. Alright, let's go murder you on you. This one is heroic. I guess I need to be at the pace. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Here, fuck it, let's duel the entire army. Or not, okay, rush me all at once. They should have just kept duels like they were in Dynasty Warriors 4. They're too finicky like this. Also, hey, <laughs> Yuan Chu is in Lubu colors. He is really committed to helping him. Huh. Is that the only time we see the ruler in black clothes? I do love it, just, why were you even here? Uh, someone called Wizzy in the chat, I think. They're, what they said is already scrolled past. But they basically said hi, and that they were just stopping by and thanks a bunch of nice stuff, so thank you. You've almost broken through. Go for it. Oh, wait. Ah, you weak bitches. Okay, so Zhang Liao gets to live. I wasn't sure if he'd live or not here. What the other targets for this stage? Enemies don't enter. Okay. So I really don't need to waste time. Oh, hey, Chin Gong. Just hanging out down here. The Boo does appear to be taking a different path than he normally does. He's going up north instead of straight through the center. Gonna let my allies take Lubu's main camp.
Have I really not found a single tone this entire stage? Oh, there it is. And now there's a second one. Damn it, Songshan. A bit too late there, Lubu. Now a third one dropped. Probably save. So I know holding the Muso button without full Muso increases your meter. Yep. It's been like that for Dynasty Warriors 2. I don't know, maybe you could do it in Dynasty Warriors 1. I don't know much about that game. Because I don't like playing Dynasty Warriors 1. A lot of HP to pick up. I'm sorry, but this is the only way I know to protect the land. Hope you're ready. The tiger of Zhang Dong is victorious again. All the upgrades I wanted to get. <laughs> oh yeah, it was kind of amusing for Soon Jian to say search for Lubu as he's currently fighting Lubu. All right, you exist. Besides, there's nothing special about hunting down a wild beast. It was something I should have done at the Hulao Gate. Hmm. You know, I really think that the time has come when you should be calling yourself Emperor. Because after all, you're brave as can be and really strong. Shang Zhang. There are more kinds of strength than of that in war. See, I feel quite content. Being loyal is enough for me. Chang Chang just like, you should totally just murder the Emperor. Victorious over Lu Bu, the acclaim of Sun Jian resounded throughout the land. But the governors were not pleased that he possessed the seal, and they became even more cautious of his actions. Among them, the self-proclaimed descendant of the Han, Liu Bei, regarded Sun Jian as a traitor and marched his forces against him. Sun Jian was unable to avoid the misunderstandings and charges leveled against him after dangling the seal as bait. Knowing this full well, he began a glorious march to cross swords against Liu Bei. Yeah, Sun Jian just playing everyone. In Jing province. Just waving the Imperial Seal around like, oh, it'd be a real shame if you attacked me. So Liu Bei out of fucking nowhere with a beef against Sun Jian. Oh, Liu Bei. Who does he think he is? Calls us traitors, us of all people. There's nothing that can be done. We hold the Imperial Seal and won't give it back. What do you expect, they'll say? As far as they know, we're betraying the Emperor. But still, Father has done everything for the Emperor to remove those who sow discord. It is not a concern. I have been prepared for that. 
Let them call me a traitor. I do not mind at all. I can't concern myself about it anymore. Let history show that we were all loyal. Liu Bei, prepare yourself in Jing, for I will soon be there. History's not really going to show anything, considering this is a what if. Five hundred KOs, feet going you and Jing Fei in ten minutes, and no one would cross. A very small force here. Uh, at least we're actually starting in a different position, Jing. Dion's alternate outfit looks pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> black and red is like Lubu colors. It even changed his hair. His hair is black now. But it does still have some white stripes in it. Not really reinforcements for attacking the same thing together, but whatever. Zhang Fei and Wan Yu. Okay, they're both in the center. So I'll let these guys handle this top area and go back down. I've got 10 minutes, but I'm not sure how long this will take. Especially since it looks like someone's struggling down here at the south. I'm not dueling you guys, you never play fair. And even when I do go through with it, you don't drop me at speed. Probably would have if I had Matt Frimbo though. Yeah, Yoyu hasn't really done anything strategy-like. You had a perfect opportunity at Shot P and you just said nothing. Side's getting fucked. Oh, 
Well, if they're still alive after I take care of Guan Yu and Jiang Fei, then. Now I get to start fighting for real. See how you stand against my charge. Can I move, please? Of course, an enemy officer had to walk through. Come on. Ah, they're gonna fucking kill me. I gotta get out of here. Keep up the fight. We must endure this enemy onslaught. Lock my horse in. God damn it. I have no idea where health is. I was really planning to get some from that base and then enemy officer just had to show up. They're even stronger than I thought. The enemy is fierce, but that will not stop us. Be enough to work with. You thought you could do it alone? Go ready. But neither my heart nor my spear have broken. We shall meet again. Let's go. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. I'm not gonna bother taking over this place. They were intending me to stay up north to fight that enemy ambush. Probably get a morale boost when you fight him off. And approaching Guan Yu and Jiang Fei probably triggered Jiang Fei's charge sooner. Jiang Fei. I have no idea where he's gotten off to now. Okay, he's down there. Deciding to make her entrance known. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Alright, let's finally head back up north. <laughs> there went Yuron. 
think we can save Lu Ming and uh, Sing One at least. We cannot afford to fall here. Nope. Everybody retreat. We are in a most difficult spot. What's the other target? 500 KOs in 10 minutes. All right, I already failed the no one withdrawals thing, but yeah, that was gonna happen. A bit too much going on in this stage to save everyone. Looming still under a retreat. Whatever, I'll do it myself. I don't know if they help the units out there, but they're just all dead. I showed up just in time to see Looming die. Condition. Link out with Ross. <laughs> Got elevated to commander status in this what if. Completely go against what he said before. The stage got really quiet. It's like they just set it up to have a bunch of enemies to fight and charge you. And then just let it play out after that.
I hereby claim this base in the name of Wu. Let's get out! These fucking peons. Just hyper aggressive. Suing peons just so having a chance to get on the freaking horse. Close to a thousand KOs, aren't they? Well, Joe, you and the Southern Fourth are still going strong. Not that it matters when there's only one other enemy officer besides the commander. Oh yeah, yeah, close to taking over this place. And Yanyan had to walk in. Be an asshole. So his 1,000 KO line is like barely different than his officer defeat line. We can make a difference here. Now charge. You, nothing you do will matter. Sounds like he was saying you're not a appropriate rival for South South. Sure, get that buff, I don't even want. Oh, soon you got his horsemanship. Doesn't matter at this point. He just got a bunch of Muso and life ups. I guess I'll get through life ups. <laughs> Liu Bei did indeed go out like a bitch. decimated Liu Bei's forces at Jing and forced him to flee northward, where he holed up in Fawn Castle. Speculating that some outside power was behind Liu Bei's actions, Sun Jian took command of all his forces and gave chase. Just the entire army. We're leaving Jian Dong, come on. At that time, Fawn Castle was under the control of Cao Cao, another claimant to power who had kept the emperor out of the war. Cao Cao guarded Liu Bei's rear flank, 
making it easy to see why Liu Bei fled there. The tiger's eyes were fixed upon his prey, and an image of the full course of the war was reflected in them. The coward. What does he hope to gain by locking himself away? He is waiting for his master. There is someone supporting him, but we do not know who they are. And yet, my lord, I wonder if they will truly come here in time to give him aid. They know we have the Imperial Seal and that they must take it from me. Be sure of this. They will attack. We must be prepared to meet them in battle, close to Xu Cheng. I believe that they are merely using Liu Bei as a decoy to see whether I will take any action. My lord, the armies of Cao Cao have departed Xinye and are on the march for Fan Castle. Hmm. They're on their way. Now, my tigers, we will meet the enemy. The time has come to fight. Open either gate in five minutes. Speak Guan Yu and Jing Fei. Maintain 30% life. Heh. <laughs> yeah. There's soon Jing acting as commander here, whoever that is. Yeah, this is weird, seeing Xu defend Fawn Castle. And Wei is going to be coming in in reinforcements later. Liu Bei has holed up in Fawn Castle. Move to the attack and draw them out. Liu Bei is not proficient at defense. Let us send siege weapons to the main gate and attack from there. You believe your wits are a match of mine? The enemy's driving us back? Come on! You all can do better than that! Also, wow, I guess Shu just got completely assimilated by by Wei. <laughs> They're all in Wei colors now. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Seems like immediately struggling against Shu. Guess I'll just go around and help all my children. Fear the tiger of Zhang Zhang. <laughs> Which, I guess Soon Jian just doesn't allow Soon Chain Chain to go in the battle, huh? You haven't seen her on the map yet. Zhou Yu's wife? Fine. Daughter? No. Bijou, in the last battle, you were running off to fight a freaking base like a mile away from your enemy, from your ally commander. As I was currently attacking him, and you weren't anywhere close to our main camp. And Bijou is wearing green. Okay. So I guess there are just way generic troops mixed in here. Let's go! Don't leave any of them standing. Think to outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. I love getting Rimbo up and then immediately losing it. Because they counterattacked the second attack I did, so there was basically no way to predict that would happen. You should be able to, yes. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Well, I know where anointment is up here. I playing on PS2 or PS3? I feel like it should be obvious by looking, but it's PS3. I hate to see you as well, son. Fear the tiger of 
dog dog. That's my old man. Keep an eye out, though, because I won't lose to you. You know, at first I, uh, I praised the siege mechanic in this game, but the more I do it, the less I enjoy doing it. Especially on stages where it starts you, like, directly in front of a gate, and the game just expects you to seize it with, like, no Renbu built up. Mostly just because, like... What you do on the ground floor doesn't really matter until you take these ballistas. And it's extremely annoying that your allies just perform infinitely better. Okay, I was seeing what was happening. Oh, I guess that line from Tsun Jian triggers when five minutes passed. Yeah, okay. That's why that's an objective. Also, I like how me jumping over here kind of is an ambush on Jiang Fei for some reason. <laughs> Nowhere, right in front of you. Had to use this on just Jang Fei, just because he was not leaving himself open. Why are you putting up such a goddamn fight? You and your fucking lieutenant, I hate this guy. Finally, flash trigger. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. I have come for your head. So they just opened the gates themselves. I guess they did. Yeah, the gates don't look broken. south down there, that's probably probably Guan Yu charging. I think there's a pot over here. Oh, there's one over there.
Yeah. It, it is annoying that you essentially just have to rely on Flash. Because, like, for a strong enemy, they just have so much HP, it's just going to take forever. To, like, whittle them down without Flash. The Guan Yu just went down so much easier because Flash triggered more on him. I was both getting unlucky with Zhang Fei, and he just has a really good moveset in this game. And it looked like he had a standard weapon, so like his range was massive. Oh yeah, we actually... <laughs> Liu Bei just saw his brother die. Your prowess is undeniable. Simply remarkable. Oh uh, no, Flash is different from Slash. Okay, this one we still have to break through, though, and wow, you guys suck at breaking through. Oh so, yeah, what I was saying about, uh, sieging before, what you do on the ground floor really doesn't matter until the blisters are gone. But, like, for most situations, you can't even get up to where the blisters are until you've fought for a little while and your allies have set up, uh, defense, uh, defense captains to set up the ladders. I guess there are no blisters here. What are you guys taking so long for? My lord, word from the scouts. More enemies are approaching. Ha, ha, ha. So it's always annoying when you start a stage in front of one, you just have to wait for guys to set up ladders. And I tend to just go to a different area when that happens. And attacking the catapults itself can be annoying just because they have those rock throwers and those club guys near them. Who are just there to specifically interrupt your combos. And ballistas count as, like, weapon-free objects. So they... you don't build up any Rinbu when attacking them. Like when you're attacking a gate. So that just makes the Rinbu building in process, like, even slower. If you don't already have it matched out while you're attacking them. that they have lines directly referencing <laughs> See, he's just annoyed with Liu Bei. How don't you fuck this up so hard, essentially? Also, where is Jiggly on? Did he just bail? This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. 
Also, this is another battle where, uh, Soon Jiang could have used a flood attack and then didn't. Like, Soon Jiang just refuses to use water. Get off your horse. Yeah, just specifically being assholes up here. We cannot keep this up forever. You go no further. I will wager my life to stop you. Okay. There's more enemy officers over here, but just they all huh? Alright, I guess we'll head for Soon Quan next, considering he was struggling. Hey, I'm not used to Fawn Castle actually not being flooded. Yeah, as you should. They and Simi Yi beside each other. Man. Think one, you're you're really being a bitch in this timeline.
I know, this time limit is weird, isn't it, Timmy? In case Liu Bei, like, suddenly triggers lightning, or triggers his arrows. Jesus, like that. Yep, yep, glad I saved. What I get for focusing on the lieutenant? You guys, I don't think this timeline is canon. Maybe, maybe it isn't. Not 100% sure yet. I'd have to consult Wikipedia. More help, why not? Eh, yeah, there's a this is just Muso. There's a sense of raids. And honestly, I think the swimming thing might come up more. <laughs> there is only one enemy left. Me. We have beaten Lu Bu and Lu Bei. <laughs> the only one not destroyed is Cao Cao. Father, Cao Cao controls the Imperial Court. We shouldn't attack, though I hate to say it. So I suppose that we should just ignore him and then keep our heads down. Listen, I believe that he has no patriotism and is loyal only to himself. He's a traitor, is he? I believe so. I do not trust that man, son. Father! Father, we have trouble! Cao Cao, his soldiers have begun to march! They have? We're fools! We've been outmaneuvered. All right, get the men ready to move. We'll march our troops east. Cao Cao will be taught a lesson. Should have played on Chaos. No, if I played on Chaos, I wouldn't be able to save. So you know what would have happened when I died to Liu Bei there? I'd have had to do that entire stage all over again. The Never playing on Chaos. Himself caught in a trap. He launched a fierce attack against Fun Castle to capture Cao Cao. But Cao Cao anticipated this and had already fled south with his army. Hearing word of this, Sun Jian clinched his fist in anger and cursed his own carelessness. However, this turned out to be a great opportunity. The only warlord in the land who wielded significant power was Cao Cao. If Sun Jian could defeat him and take the Emperor Xi'an into custody, his dream of returning to the Imperial Court would come true. The tiger eagerly approached this challenge with teeth and claws bared. very soon. Right. We'll form up the men as soon as we leave these trees. Then we'll attack. Cao Cao, what is the vision that drove you to this course of action? The future you are trying to create may indeed be better than the one that we have now. Still, in the end you're one of those who would set aside the history of the Imperial Court. You're merely a traitor. I am the blade of the Imperial Heart. 
No one will steal the throne, I swear it. Meanwhile, Shang Shang is already plotting her usurpation. Let's assume she's acting behind the scenes. Yuji is commander. It's like Sunjian just like randomly appoints someone, whoever's nearby at the time. Beat Sepi in five minutes. I'm going to try to do that because I don't have Sepi unlocked, and I think that's the objective that unlocks him, which you're just not going to get naturally. You pretty much have to rush him. And then the other objectives: 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Jesus, take the two forts in 20 minutes. Beat all enemies in 30 minutes, that's, yeah, just, that's, that's just play the stage. I'm disappointed we don't have Lu Ming here. Soon Yan's force is just like, these guys and Lu Ming, who just only showed up for one battle. any ointments are. Soon point, you cannot be struggling. You have that enemy officer so outnumbered. And an ally base. You're, you're being dumb right now. Oh, this one? Damn it. You need to at least build up Muso so you can Muso once and then get some Rindu up. If you don't know where Anointment is, and I just I don't remember them all off the top of my head on every stage. Volley, doesn't he? That's what suck. Do you know who I am? guys losing down there it was three against one wasn't it one two three it was four against one and one of you have already died and it was in your own base how do you suck this bad soon Kwan is just ultimate bitch in this timeline it's actually affecting everyone around him Attack, wouldn't they? I, don't I hereby 
I claim this base in the name of Wu. Go help my worthless progeny. and no one cared. <laughs> Man, Chong, what the fuck? All right, sure. Let's duel. Bring it on. And Chong setting the place on fire in a duel. What a badass. <laughs> Alright, there. I took care of it. Too little too late, but damn. Who showed up to help? Come on, guys. <laughs> Lou Fon's morale. They were so depressed seeing Soon Kwan die. Uh, just a bunch of generics. Who cares? Just hoping it'd be Lu Ming. And you know what? I respect Man Chung. He didn't sick his lieutenant on me. It was actually a fair duel. going on about in the chat. Sure, set this base on fire too. Why not? I hereby claim this base in the name of I cannot approve a riding off alone. Let me show you why. Oh, there he is. Stand against me if you dare. I think we fought him the most in this story. I trusted that you would come. I appreciate your assistance. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Fear the tiger of Zhang Dong. Thank <laughs> you. 
the game's limits come from. I hereby claim this space in the name of Odin. Now I'm ready for the final. I see the word. Enemy reinforcements are heading here. They fail. They think to outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. What a disaster. I have no excuse for trouble with this rabble. Fear the tiger, John Dog. I don't really see who I'm attacking here. Seven hundred and eighty six allies. Wow, that dropped. That number dropped. A true warrior indeed. You will carry our honor across the land. What's up, Young Liao? It's Zhang Yao. Run. Gotta give some help, actually. Oh, you're just coming after me? All right. Eh, I just healed. Now you crazy tiger. You gone, there will be no one in the way of Cao Cao's tree. You shall fall by my blade. Is this word you have for the boy you hate? Fear the tiger. Yeah, he's, he's a bit more impressive than the regular Hefei stage. Stages do feel harder than the normal ones. That's my old man. Keep an eye out though, because I won't lose to you. Like your allies just generally struggle more. And not being able to use like the water attack on uh Fawn Castle and Chappy. Those sort of like turn those stages into like hard mode stages. I like how in this timeline Juju is still somehow in the dead winning way. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. So you are next. I'll crush you. Who's that over there on the left that took over that big base? Oh, they're even stronger than I thought. Oh, it's Shao Dun and some other guy. I guess we'll go fight Shao Dun, sure.
There's one guy going after the main camp, and I'm worried he might be able to take it. Because if my allies have proven anything in this playthrough, it's that they suck. Honestly, it looks like he would have beat him here. The coming here may have made things worse because now the base is on fire, but oh well. One of the mission objectives was to defeat all the enemy officers, anyways. It appears the resistance is futile. Jim Gun's cape feels extra flappy compared to other capes. In case the worst happens, like it did last time. Oh, he was, he was beside me the whole time, just the game couldn't handle rendering him. There are too many officers here. Horsemanship. And I guess a bunch of Muso ups. Yeah, that's pretty much better. Yeah, it's got more damage, but the other abilities aren't as good. And now I have selfie. Excuse me. And now I have cow pee. Sung Jian, we are pleased to learn you are to become our advisor and greet you in the name of the Imperial Court. Imperial Highness, I have been feared as the Tiger of Zhang Dong, and have swept the fields of battle with my weapon. There is no guarantee that someday I might not fall prey to the ambitions that drove Dong Zhuo. Sun Jian, what are you saying? <laughs> it was a joke. 
a bad one. Forgive me, your highness. Still, if you propose to keep tigers by your side, it is necessary that you are strong enough to tame them. You question my strength? Of course. The greatest hope for peace in our benighted world lies in the strength of her emperor's heart. To that heart I swear, by my honor I will pledge my sword and my eternal loyalty to you. And the emperor just gets shot with an arrow. Oh, a lord of war. That's the best title in the game. Bond Castle didn't go so well, but the other stages went went all right. Yeah, I think the Emperor has like two cutscenes he appears in: one in South South Story and one in Soon Jian's. Maybe he appears in Special. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he doesn't show up in Lubu's cutscenes. But uh, Lubu's is the last Musou mode we have left for the. Uh, Base PS3 version of Master Warrior 6. Uh, I'm going to try to stream that tomorrow. <laughs> yes, the arrangement. I have to play as Juju, but that's going to be the only free mode thing I play. I'm not playing Lubu and Chaos. I'm not playing when on Chaos when that difficulty just removes interim saves. Like, I'd be fine playing on a hard difficulty, especially with, like, the character with the best stats in the game. But, I'm gonna screw up at some point, that's just gonna happen. And not being able to save means I could screw up against the final boss and suddenly have to repeat 30 minutes worth of effort or something. And I just do not want to deal with that under any circumstances. Lazy Wan Chao after Juju? No. I, I said when I played him last, it was going to be the last time I played Yuan Chao. Can't help that it got banned. Was I really banned last time? Yes, that is absolutely what happened, 100%. Definitely not that the power went out, or that something came up, or that any other possible reason happened. It was the band thing. Alright, let's see, what would be a good stage for Juju? Well, let's see, Wu-Jang Plains is a pretty long one. You know what, people were saying to play on Chaos. Hey, look, we got Selfie unlocked. I think that's everyone. I think that's everyone on the rosters. Alright, sort of weapon do you have, Juju? Cool. Alright. And you know what? Since, you know, he is at level 1, I should make his horse match him. Hey, look, it's, it's a red-looking horse. It's almost red hair. All right, let's do this. We will Liu hey, look at that cape he has. Wow, force. he's just not wearing a shirt, huh? The final well. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this horse has a pathetic job. Oh, look at that. That's terrible. You do can jump higher than the horse. We have received reports from all units. The Shu forces are behaving strangely. All right, let's do this. All right, couple more hits like that, and we're good. Ooh, that was a hard counter. Good job, Fei. You're a worthy foe. Uh, ah, a uh, lieutenant got me. Oh, well, you see, this is why lieutenants are the worst. 
All right, well, that's it for the stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow I'm going to try and stream Lubu's Muso Mode to get that done with. And then I might take a bit of a break from streaming for a while. Because I got uh, that Three Houses Warriors game coming out, like, in a few days, I think. That wasn't it. No, that was it. Our agreement was just to play as Juju for a stage. The stage ended. It cannot have ended more definitively. I cannot allow Liu Bei to roam free. He must be found and captured, dead or alive. It's watching the game autoplay with the Anway. <laughs> I knew it. Zhao is the devil himself. But uh, Forget about yeah, I've kind of just gotten a little tired of playing Dynasty Warrior 6, which is part of why I don't want to play any more free mode stages at the end of them. Because it's just, it's so repetitive. Even more repetitive than, like, normal for Warriors games. Because everyone's moveset is essentially the same. Just mash square a bunch and mash triangle to break guards. Wow, good job! AI Dion Wei, that was a one-shot. Impressive. <laughs> So yeah, I'll probably take a break and upload some other stuff I have. Like, I have some other Warriors videos that haven't been put up yet. There won't be any, like, commentary or anything over them. It'll be, like, the older videos I used to put up. I don't think I'll be streaming uh, the Three Houses Warriors game, either. I think I'd rather just play that on my own time, so I don't have to, like, dedicate specific hours of the day to streaming. But yeah, that's what I got planned, so... Tomorrow I'll stream Lubu's story, and then just go on a brief little break. And then probably come back once I finish Three Houses. Maybe once that finishes uploading, as well. So I'm definitely gonna put that up on the channel. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys later.